For my research, I hope to use Origene to study skin pigmentation. So we extract the DNA from the saliva, we do exome capture, and then from the samples that we use, um, we're looking at skin pigmentation diversity within the Khoisan, which are a really interesting group genetically. They're super diverse, and we can use the Origene kits to understand that genetic diversity. Research involves persons with Alzheimer's disease, and I'm very interested in the amount of variability there is in the symptoms of persons with dementia, and their cognitive status, uh, functional ability, and behavioral symptoms. And we're hoping to identify genetic factors um, in combination with environmental factors that contribute to that variability in symptoms. So we can identify people at greater risk for um, more symptoms and target our interventions. Las muestras que hemos logrado obtener de diferentes pacientes eh, de diferentes grupos étnicos en México nos permite que armar cada vez mejor una um, fotografía del mapa genómico de la población mexicana. We carry out research on childhood epilepsy and other neurodevelopmental disorders. So um, we're trying to find the genetic determinants of this epilepsy in various different populations. Um, and then we want to obviously then once we know what's going wrong on a genetic level, trying to find better cures, because at the moment there are, the drugs for epilepsy are, are pretty rubbish. Um, so hopefully once we know what's going wrong, we can design better medications for the disease. We are mainly doing to, I mean, focusing on uh, identifying uh, genes for complex traits and population structures analysis. So we're, we're working on DNA sequencing to discover the causes of rare intestinal uh, diseases, and we hope to make lots of new discoveries and get good publications out of them. Uh, so we're collecting samples, mostly the entire patient po uh, um, population of the pediatric cancer hospital in Guatemala. Uh, we've done, we published one study on genetic variants in TPMT genes that are involved in response to chemotherapy, uh, and are just submitting a paper now on retinoblastoma, uh, which is more frequent there. We've documented about twice the incidence in the U.S. and Europe, so we're trying to figure out why. Well, I think that there are some diseases out there and even some non-disease traits that bother people, especially uh, parents and especially kids. And I think that it, through using these products that I can help these people get through their, their issues with genetic problems, then um, that's great for me.